Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard where I'm excited. We're gonna explore a little bit more of the crossroads and potentially go meet a potential lover. It's gonna be different than uh I I mean I think we don't let me just let me just be distracted for a, a second. Fade terror spewing blight. Oh. That must be how the gods are sending blight into the crossroads. So there are still tail tears in the veil, whereas the Inquisitor! Not that she can do anything now. She had the artifact, the the orb, the thing, the anchor removed from her hand. Um, I am loving the Verd. I don't know why, but I love the Verd degree on all the like bronze, like metal things that we've been seeing. It's really nice. Uh, but I don't think we point out enough how terrible it is to have the blight sticking out, like having its own under its own power, not just being wiggly on the ground or like stationary and dead looking. Kind of just the fact that it can hold itself up is like the worst part. It's not just wiggling horizontally, it's being vertical. And I don't know why, but that makes it way worse. <laughs> um, but this is wild. Like that is, that is some pretty evil looking stuff. And I can apparently get down there and get whatever is in there. This feels very mourn watchy after I see this like necromantic sort of greenish light. I guess the veil fire is blue. This light's like green. This one will maybe take me to Navarra, maybe. Doesn't look like it's working. Like, just like the, the mirror. Maybe we have to activate it first, but like the mirror surface is like stone. Right? Not very mirror-like. This one's open. Oh, this is probably... This goes to Kirkwall? They well no these are sorry these are actually the Tevinter statues we see them in the desert in the western approach so I guess that makes sense for this would send us back to Tevinter okay but we are off to Antiva um change party why can't I bring Neve also. Oh! So he's gonna join us, like, promptly. Oh, okay. And it makes sense to have Neve with me. Because she's the one who set up the, uh... The situation. Oh my gosh, she looks really hot, even in shadows. <laughs> um, yes. A famed assassin. Listen, though... I don't need to see seven! At least at some point! Not right now necessarily, but... I'm not gonna get to see seven. I need to get my hopes down. Down, girl. Besides, if I saw... Treviso. One of the finest cities in Antiva. Now living under rocky Yeah, beach. explain this to me! Let's hope our crow contact can meet us. I mean, they would just... Everybody would be, like, converted to Welcome the Welcome to Antiva. You must be Rook. That voice, I recognize that voice. Why do I recognize that? And you're Andaratea Cantori of the Crows. Thea, please. Come. My associate Viago is gathering the others. We can talk business when we arrive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm looking at the different clothes. Your hourly reminder. Oh, wow. Yeah, they've built, like, barricades and stuff in very, like, the bright red ropes is kind of a canary thing. Uh, wow. Okay, okay. And they would have torn down a lot of Chantry stuff, 100%. But they're, like, so the, the, hopefully the people aren't being, like, forcibly converted to the Kune, I guess, if it's just a mercenary band. Or, um... Which, honestly, I don't understand why the Crows couldn't have taken care of, like, a bunch of mercenary bands. I could see them not being able to take out, like, the actual governing body of the Kunari, right? Like, you have the three different, you have the Tamasrans, you have the Antam, and, like, the priest one. Um, but, like, yeah, which is the Antam is the army, technically. The Tamasrans are, like, sort of the, the caretaker types. 
Um, and not really caretaker, it's a bad word for it, but like, yeah, and then you have the priest class. Um, anyway, I don't know why I was going off on that, but like, oh, you have to take care of like each one of those, and even if you killed them, those leaders, like, they would just, uh, like, they would just, they, they'd have a system in place for who to replace, you know what I mean? Like, it, it would just be, I think the Kuhn works much better as a whole, and the crows are used to, to like, armies or entities that come against them who if you take off the head then the body, you know, the breast of the army or whatever would run away um, because they have no standing army in Antiva just the crows and apparently whatever that is, like it makes sense if it's the actual governing body of the Canari to invade and the crows can't take care of it but if the crows can't take care of like the leaders of some big, I mean big, merc bands like maybe you guys weren't all that you were cracked up to be, you know what I mean? To be fair, Zevran, like, totally canonically decimated their ranks a while back. Because they weren't- not a kind organization, you know? The documents, it's, uh, it's all there. <sighs> Sloppy. Have your papers in order next time. Of course. Yes, I'll, um, I'll be more mindful. I'm very demure. Good. We're here for your protection. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's definitely the vibe I'm getting. Oh my gosh. Our princes come with us. I... The Anton soldiers have made themselves comfortable. We have suffered their company for too long. The Antam reached a stalemate in their war with Tevinter. Some turned here instead. Ah. Antiva was rich, comfortable, and has no standing army to stop them. We're just gonna talk like blah 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 like in the streets, you know? Welcome. Your body is a sacred vessel, and I can provide you with the proper building materials. You sound like a serial killer. Kashra, the the dwarves. Why I was sort of distracted. In one eye at the start of his rule, a dagger in the other shortly thereafter. Dumat born. Okay, some of this is cool. Compendium of the Dead. Ooh, is this something that I could, like, decorate in my room? I want it. A chess piece. Is it a rook? Chipped mug. Cheater's deck. A dragon carving. I'll buy a dragon carving. I wonder if I would get this stuff cheaper later. Alas. Field provisions. For what? I could buy gold? Oh, for heartwood. Okay. Decor. Prickly box. Why would I want a prickly box? Oh, wait. These aren't decor. It has to say it's decor. Oh. Oh, mementos, though. Mementos were important for something. I'll take the memento. This is a... To Vinter, but it says Arlathan. Crafted from ancient Arlathan alloys. I guess, okay, that makes sense. A To Vinter thing made from. Like, that To Vinter would use ancient Arlathan alloys to create something. Uh, well, you know what? Sure, I'll buy this too. I seem to be getting money fairly frequently, so. If your stomach bothers you, a little ginger will set you right. I do not. I, you scare me. I'm not going to lie. Flowers? You sell flowers? And I buy flowers for you? I'm surprised they're allowing this to go on. Amrita Vane. Okay. Permanently boosts defense by 1%. Interesting. Applies siphon to nearby enemies on potion use. These are beautiful. And Tiva is a very rich, like, like rich in like culture and food and like things <laughs> kind of a city, right? Like, look, it's a whole shop dedicated to selling bird cages and stuff. Like, why is there somebody hiding under the I've table? I've got from all over the world. If you'd like to take a look, these are beautiful. Sing to me, not just the lyrio. 
All of the crystals sing to you? Who's the crystal guy? Away. I'm running out of money. You will see things from all over. I do. Can I sell things to you? Because I know I have things to sell. The elven way to greet people is Andaran Artisham. It's such a pretty language. Thanks. <laughs> like she thinks I do. I know she's saying it because I'm. I, at least I think she's saying it because I'm an elf. If not, it is actually really funny that that's like something coded in to just be like, oh, if you make a return visit, this is what she says. That, and it's like, yes, I know, I am elven. You know what I mean? And elven's such a pretty language. It's like walking up to somebody who's French. I don't know the French word for hello off the top of my head. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying it, but you know what I mean. And you're like, wow, Fran French is such a pretty language. And they're just like, you know. Or like, <laughs> Thank you so much. Here's how you say it in your language. And it's like, yeah, I know. Look at her mid, mid stride. That's so funny. Listen, I don't know if I'm going to come back. If the butcher cares so much for Treviso, he'll make sure we have the proper ingredients for this risotto. Oh, yeah? Okay. Don't mind me, just taking stuff. Oh, you guys are very obviously gross with that armor and the way- Because they were- the way they were standing around, I'm like, suspicious, you know? She could. The Anton confiscated half the supplies. So they need it for their army. For our damned protection. This is a canary woman who's a crow. Fine decor for the finest homes. Fine decor. Let me sell because I really want some tapestries. The joining. The wings of various creatures. I love stuff like that. The horns of various creatures. I love stuff like that. Like old fashioned like 1800s. I have like a whole book on them actually. Of like the scientific drawings of like the 1800s. And there's like. There's a word for him, and I, it escapes me right now because it's starting to get late, and my brain is slowly eroding. But, like, oh my gosh, there's, like, a word for them. But they look really cool, like, faded kind of watercolory-looking ones, and it was, like, the best way to do, like, a dissection, and es essentially was to, like, have, like, the, like, the cut. Like, like botanical drawings did them a lot, and anatomy drawings did them, like, all kinds of things. Geology, like, very, very cool stuff. I think her armor is not rendering properly. I feel like danger is around. It must be every hard dealing with the aunt home. This occupation will not last. The Antivan crows remain. A kitty! And one day, I will see a knife through every would be tyrant's throat. Are you like trying to. Like, are you doing a magic show? In. With Canary around? As well as this being a former Chantry city? Like, what? This does have sort of a Spanish vibe to it. Is the day. Is it changing from night to day? Or am I, like, hallucinating that? I definitely had a kind of a Spanish, like, coastal vibe for Antiva. And it is, uh... Let's check it out a little bit in the architecture, you know? Oh, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Crow's Road rooftops. Very beautiful. How did you guys get up here? They're like the stairs, like a normal person. What's going on over here? The Antam ordered me out of my house. I don't have anywhere else to go. Ah. This is probably just groups of people who... Who's that? Who's that guy in the picture? They've updated the paintings in this game. The last game, they was always repeating the same ones. Why are my frames? My frames. Yeah, this is an obvious. This is a city made for crows. We have arrived. If this is just like the a normal, nice setup. A normal thing. Welcome to the Cantori Diamond. What? I followed you. Can I go past you now? Bye. Okay. <laughs> A casino is not where I would expect. You're the client. 
This is Rook. Did you want a drink? I promise not to let Viago near it. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Viago de Riva, fifth talon. And this is Caterina della Morte, first talon of the crows. An honor. And you are? Ilario della Morte, her grandson. So useless. What brings you here? Right. My target is a pair of elven gods, or that's what they call themselves. They're ancient blighted mages. My detective says you have a man who brought blood mages and Venatori to their knees. Lucanis. My grandson. Oh, another one. They called him the demon of Virantium. He was the one who did those jobs. What's the catch? Yeah, he because he, she keeps saying they called and he was, you know, it's like, okay, so is he just like philandering in the casino or what? Like sending a demon to take down a god. Aye. Sounds like a plan. It's a nonsense plan, but that's not important. Lucanis de la Morte is dead. Oh, well, okay. Like, officially? What I say he doesn't leave this room. Yeah, he's officially dead, but... The body our people brought back was not my grandson. It was dressed in his clothing, but it had been altered with it's blood that guy. magic to have his That guy face. did it. That guy did my it. My cousin is still alive. And you didn't think to tell me? His ship was attacked. We knew someone sold him out. So you kept your suspicions to yourself. Well, yeah. But you've brought it up now. Why? I've had eyes on the Venatori ever since they took my grandson from me. They were hunting your dread wolf. And what you did to his ritual threw them into this... How does everybody know this? They made mistakes. And now I have a location. The Oshuri where the demon of Virantium is kept. Find this Oshiri. Free Lucanis. You'll have your god killer. And I'll have my grandson. So it's a family business apparently now. It used to just take slave children and raise them up. Come, Katarina arranged the boat. One of our mages will meet us there. A boat? They all remind me. Did you me... think the would keep a normal prison? They all remind me oh, of that one. Oh, the story of uh... Pyrantium. The ocean lies beneath the sea. A fact I learned mere minutes ago. Oh, okay. A secret and excessive. Sounds like Venatori. How did You're you? are not happy. Katarina kept this from me. Ah, uh, yeah. Would you be? Lucanis is family. Maybe she thought I'd act too rash if it meant saving him. And now, or she thought you sold him who out. Who can say if he's even still alive? There, you take the boat. I'll make sure we weren't followed. He's going to report me to the Venatori and sell Are me you out. coming with us? It's possible we've been watched. Uh huh. If all of us vanish from the dock, you play the alluring hero. I know Treviso. If we have a tail. I have a better chance of distracting their interest. I don't trust a pretty boy like him. Like, he just, he looks like, I don't know, some pretty boys I trust, not this one. He also doesn't have a rank name. He's not a Talon. He's a grandson, but not a Talon. So I think there is a grudge there, you know? Talons are like their, their ranks, like uh, one, two, three, four, five, you know what I mean? I can't remember what number it goes up to, but it's like eight, it's not that far, you know? I mean, you can be in the crows and not have a rank, but... So how do we get if in? If you do, you're super you cool. See. Seeing Zebran in these outfits would be nice. I'm gonna stop. Hoping for Zebran. Hearing all their voices reminds me of him, though. I'm just like, Bleh! like they all sound like him. Oh, okay. Someone or something already took down the guards. Might work in our favor, but something's wrong here. Let's hope we find our demon alive. Um. So, like, what? This is actually crazy. 
like in Antiva, the Venatori have an underground base. It was this, this is probably ancient elven architecture that has just been like subsumed under the water, right? As per usual. It's usually elven, but like, I don't know why. There was like a market here up until recently, like. It's something outside the water or inside the water, you know what I mean? Like in here with us or in the water. Query on prison staff. Calvin, the other wardens don't want to go near that crow cell anymore. Can't we get someone else to do it? Slaves, maybe? He probably wouldn't kill slaves. I was worried that a guy named Mage Killer would have gotten his name just hunting down mages, but like like in general, like people who had escaped. Um, but if he makes his living off of like blood mages and Look. Wow. So this is the ossuary. Is that a shark? Is it like a basking? Like, I've seen. like a basking shark? It's kind of what it looked like. Oh my gosh, they have giant sharks in the water. Yeah, it's elven. You see that statue over there? That's an elven statue. Uh, water leaking in here is maybe a bad idea. I bet you the guy got out, by the way, and he's just walking around looking for clues on something. Yeah. What kind of- okay, I was like, what kind of magic would do something like this, where like, you apparently have just like, breathable air under the water, but it makes sense. I wonder if it was an elven building that was intentionally built under the water, right? You could do anything with the Fade, or with magic being so like, prevalent everywhere. And this kind of reminds me of, uh, Solus's, um... What do you call it? Um, office. But there is a tear here. It looks like one of them, like one of the things keeping the fade back fell, or keeping uh, the water back. One of the magical devices. This is cool. Oh, there's runes in there. There's runes in like the barrier. This is so gorgeous. Wow. Okay, that's the way I need to go. So I'm going to go this way. No, what's up there? I'm making marks in the sand. I always love it in like snow and sand in particular, like to see that I make a little trail. Alas, hopefully it's not anything crazy. I remember now seeing like something about being underwater in the game and I was like, are we gonna get to swim? Like, is this the game where we finally get to swim? Alas, it is not, but you know. I don't want to ask for too much. This is really beautiful. I love seeing the fish. Oh, Vulcanus! Why not? The Venatori oh. set up shop in an elven ruin. Yep. It's a wonder anything works. They are not known to be delicate. I can't believe all this is underwater. If the enchantments containing this place ever failed. Yikes. Nervous about that or the job in general? Not everyone deals with the Antivan crows, unless to tell about it. We're up against gods. A demon might come in handy. What? If I fell in there, could I get back out again? Well, we will eventually go that way at some point. Yeah, and so we have all that, right? Where it's like, oh yeah, ancient elven ruin under the water. It was supposed to be like that, yada, yada, yada. No, I think I smeared something again. As the night goes on, more and more I smear my paint. Um, but the fact that the Venatori found it and then... Woo, uh, oh, somebody died horribly there. Um, and then set up shop here in Antiva. Like, we're not into Vinger. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to see if I can catch a glimpse of whatever it is. Okay, maybe Lucanus couldn't kill everybody. Maybe there is something else going on. Oh, there's there's Blight, there's Lyrium. Oh wow, thank you. Stuff. 
wonder if we'll get we won't get to interact with Dirtman, probably. I'm so curious how this game is gonna end. Like if it's just like I don't and I'm not even gonna say it because I don't even wanna know. I don't even wanna think about it. Like not in a bad way, I just don't wanna like a jinx barrier. anything. Whatever's in there, the Venatori really want it to stay put. Then we break through. Lucanus, <laughs> is that you? Or like a de an actual demon? Is there an actual demon in here? Destroy the crystals. This seems like not a very foolproof method of, you know, containment. A skillington. I am nearest. I was nearest. I, we were, we are nearest. What are you, uh, an inmate from the time period of when? You know? Ooh! An uncommon amulet. A boon from the mother of the Hala herself. Yikes! Let me just summon Gillanon right now. No, thank you. High security key. Yeah, I get that by seeing, um, you know, a lock on the door. Okay, so I, just, I don't have to, like, press X during the release. I just press it before I release, which is actually really convenient. No, oh. Oh, hey, okay, info. Ovidius, no, we can't get slaves to do it. We used them all as test subjects, of course. What a hashtag venatory problems. We don't have the budget for any more. Ah. Do you think slaves just grow on trees? Get the juniors to do their jobs. Slavers, am I right? <laughs> oh, do I need to like... Oh, okay. I was like, do, do, do I need to break something else? Cause that was, that was kind of confusing. Cause I broke this crystal and it was like, okay, I can get in. So I was like, okay, I'll hit that one. And I thought the three crystals are going to be like that crystal I broke. And then the one behind right. me and then this one. We're almost through. But apparently not. We're just fine. So if I, ooh, look at the skeletons, like the freaking with the, with the skull. We've saw, we've seen that on another, um, on one of the like gravestone markers was specifically like a skeleton head with a crown and then it had a flower in the center. I'm wondering, cause this looks Tevintory. This looks like Tevintor additions. On top of elven stuff, right? So like, is that... Cause I'm like, ooh, maybe it's Elgarnan. But like Elgarnan did not have a visage as like a death king. Interesting. I don't want to like be near it when it like I feel like it's gonna blow up. Hi, please don't kill me. No Connors or anything else. Oh hi. We don't have to fight. We're just here for Lucanus Delamore. Oh yeah, that's gonna go well. Get ready. Dragon hail, dragon of mystery, Lucicon, dragon of night. Does that work? They're just like, yeah, it's chill, it's fine. He does have wings! Oh my gosh, Thane! Hi, I'm Thane! Guessing you're the reason we're here. Oh my gosh, how dramatic. Who are you? Who sent you? <laughs> my name's Rook. Katarina sent me. Katarina? But you're not a crow. No. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Listen, sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, this happened with Zebran, where he started speaking and I started laughing because I did not expect the voice of, like, a Spanish man who sounded like Zorro, Zorro with one R from freaking, like, the Black Mask Zorro, right? I did not expect that to come out of an elf, and then it was so funny, and... I just couldn't take it, and again, I don't know why, this guy, I did not expect, I know he's a Tevin and I showed up, but I did not expect him to sound like that. 
Uh, it's not my favorite accent, but I have grown very fond of it because of Zevran. But now I'm like, ooh, is this like weird? Is it my, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just not weird. But like, part of me is like, oh, is it weird to like fall in love with an Antivan Crow? But like, the man had purple wings and he did a bunch, he was like Thane. Especially in Mass Effect 3 or in when you acquire him in 2, he has those initial scenes where he's just like, ka -ka -ka, like killing people, like super sneaky, like, you know, like. Uh, and like, like right in front of you, kills like three people instantly, and he just did that too. Listen, I love me an assassin. <laughs> it's apparently a type I have. Fame and Zevran, and maybe Lusanas. You weren't expecting a rescue. I wasn't expecting whatever that was. <laughs> Rook, he's possessed by a demon. What? It's complicated. Oh, the... Katarina promised us a mage killer if we broke you out of here. I can still work. Good. Because I'm pretty sure more Venatoria are on their way. We have to get moving. They have a vial of my blood. They can use it to control me. I cannot leave it in their hands. That's very fair. And I had a contract when I was captured. One of my targets is here. Calivan. Oh, is that why you were here? Crows don't break contracts. Okay. Post don't break contract. Listen, listen, listen. Oh. I can be I can be a funny girl. I'm a funny girl. Yeah, yeah, the famous crow contracts. So you want a prison break, a blood heist, and assassination help just to get you out of here. I'll owe you. I'm sure we'll owe each other before this is all over. Let's Probably. go. Probably. I was gonna say, he doesn't strike me as the sort to necessarily think that, like, humor so, is the best solution, <laughs> but... Blood first, then my target, Caliban, the prison warden. Where do we find them? In the tower. There's a bridge. Not anymore. We'll have to find another way across. <gasps> Basking shark whales! With a baby! You see, there's a baby! <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Hang on, okay, hang on. I have to get them... Not the greatest of pictures, I think. This one's a little blurry because of how close I am to it. There's a whole pod of them. This is really, really cool. They look like whales. They have like the humpback whale look like on the underside. This is nice. I'm glad they threw in some big. It's always kind of crazy to be. What is it? The thassalophobia? Like the fear of like the deep or like what's in the deep or something, you know? Um. Oh, this is really neat. Don't mind me just taking a scrapbook of my adventures in Dragon Age 4. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just love, I think one of, like, Prince of Egypt, regardless of whatever you think about any sort of anything religion-wise, Prince of Egypt is a masterpiece of a movie, right? The soundtrack's so good, the animation's so good, the movie's so well-researched, um, and it's just so good. But the scene that will always stick with me as a kid is when, like, Moses has parted the sea, right? And they're, like, walking through it. And it's, like, they take a good moment to, like, let you, like, experience that. And there's, like, a lightning flash. There's, like, lightning flashes. And you see sea creatures. But then at one point, there's a lightning flash. And it's all very calm. Like, it's not, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's very beautiful. And then there's, like, this big whale. And I was just, like, Whoa. Like, I don't know, just the idea of being able to walk through, like, just a massive wall of water. Like, not in the water, but, like, separate from it. So it's like that distinction is, like, extra cool, right? Like, swimming in the water is one thing, but, like, being separate out of the water somehow, but able to see into it like that from the side and seeing something so massive go by would just be like, whoa. So I've always thought that was really, really cool. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I, don't know. I just think it's neat. My helmet is so cool looking. I am looking up at uh, the, the whales. Anyways, I'm happy to see them do like big animals like this. Like this is cool. Like we, we're not gonna get a codex entry on it or anything. But like, look there they are. Oh, it would have been cool to do from here with the ship. Hang on, there's probably more coming. Yes. Oh my gosh, hang on. <laughs> no, yeah, Lusanus is he's attractive. Fine, 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 fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. 
whale. <laughs> oh, this is so good! Ancient oven ruins with a shipwreck and a space whale. Not a space whale, it's a whale whale. But with, like, the vestigial limbs, there's, like, not vestigial limbs anymore. All whales have vestigial legs, technically, still. Like a pelvis, um... And, uh, but this guy, these guys, I like that it's like, it's a whale, but they're like, we're just going to add some extra, some extra bits to it. And I'm like, yes, please do it. Like, I don't need an explanation. Give it to me, you know? Love it. It does not want me to go outside this barrier at all. Because this thing's kind of in the way for what I would like to do. Oh, this is actually, this is a good one. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm having so much fun making a scrapbook <laughs> for Dragon Age 4! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I'm just taking pictures. There's really interesting doorways if you go to like Southwest, like the Four Corners region in the American Southwest. Um, you get T-shaped doorways and a lot of ancient like Pueblo and masonry structures, uh, and like I mean, actual T shape, but like thick top T, you know, um, where like it's narrow where the legs go, and then like where your hips are, T's out into like a larger, like wider rectangle, you know. I actually work with a guy right now who did some work, at least cataloging where they are, how many, how many, like what direction they're facing, you know, stuff like that. It's like you know, just trying to get any scrap of information on them, um, and I haven't read extensively about them, so I'm not going to say any more about them, because I'm not going to know properly, but they're fun to find. They're, I think they're generally associated with Mesa Verde, but they are elsewhere. It's kind of, I think, oh, this one's really, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm fairly sure, so I'm saying it, is that it looks seems like that style maybe disseminated out from Mesa Verde, but maybe it was Truckle Canyon. Ah, uh, don't, don't listen to me, I don't know anything. <laughs> Ooh, Neve looks cool in here. This is a good spot, Neve. He chose a very photo photogenic spot. Gotta get with one with myself in there. I do love the helmet. I will keep it. For a bit. Ooh. Ah, so good. I don't think I'm gonna be able to be back in this underwater segment. I think it's one of those. Oh hey, look! I think it's one of those pretty skyboxes thing that I was a little worried about, that the game would have a bunch of pretty skyboxes and not a lot of, you know, oomph to them. Not a lot of exploration of the individual areas. Kind of be bopping around. You know? Which it kind of seems like that's what we're doing, but it is cool to see them. Mages, my specialty. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's good. Um, wait. Uh, hang on. Oh, wait, uh, hang on. Shoot at me, shoot at me. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let me. Dang it. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. When I got that guy, then I tossed it to this guy. Ooh. Oh, you were using. Oh, I read about that actually. Um, All right, one of them has a key. Ah, that person exploded. Um, I we the found it file. in the viscera. Where do we go? Caliban keeps it under guard. Blood is the only thing that can bind a demon. If they lose it, then it's chaos. We have we have a few instances of benign possession happening. Um, oh, this was where we started. Okay, yeah. Um, so, like, no hate on the benign possession, you know? Um, but, yeah, it's just, uh, one of those things you gotta be careful of. I have to pull it out of the viscera. Oh, this is so what was going on here? Living prisoners for blood magic. Blood magic to summon spirits. Any spirit can become a demon. Zara didn't give them a choice. Zara? Zara Renata. There might be a higher ranking Benatori somewhere, but I don't know of one. This place is all her. Okay. 
Uh, also, yes, he's not wrong, but how would like a regular guy know? Oh, are you a mage too? He's, he may be a mage, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is very Venatory style. Are you? Yeah, you've got it. Yeah. Okay, I see it now. The beam. Hey, a D20. The dragon's decoy. I have that actually right here. I put it up as a decoration. The one I got in the, uh, in the Rook's Coffer. Interesting. I didn't know. I thought it was just like a fun, like a D20 thing, you know? Um, or it's not a D20. I think it's a D10. A decahedron. An overly complicated container that radiates magic. <laughs> a simple attempt to scry within reveals extensive, but time-consumingly contradictory rebellion plans. It ends up in Venatory hands surprisingly and usefully often. Okay. Um, so this must be the, the Shadow Dragons. Like, they made, like, a like a bunch of false plans. And, uh, let it fall into Venatory hands, I guess? I don't know. It would make sense for it to be the Shadow Dragons. Ooh, are you a warden? A warden? A warden's being experimented on? Listen, I have great respect for the wardens. Felicia, what exactly does she expect me to do? It's been over 300 days now. It was supposed to take a week at most. If Zara's brilliant process failed, how does she expect me to salvage it? Calavan. Were you trying to do something with the Wardens? You're not the first person to do that. The Architect in the Origins Awakening DLC also did that, but I think we've ignored that DLC for a long time. It was still a fun DLC, though. I highly recommend playing it. Even if the lore is a bit iffy at this point as to its validity. It's solid lore, I just whether or not, you know, Bioware doesn't tend to hold themselves too harshly to their DLCs. Trespasser being a big exception. Origins DLCs. Origins is a long time ago, right? Where it's like, that was, those were simpler days where things could be more complicated. <laughs> you guys are bastardizing the Elven Ruin. I won't forgive you. Give me your secrets. I love that leaves pop out. Why are leaves popping out? It's like leaves and gold. I'm like, okay. Ah! Oh no, it's just gold coins, but they're kind of green. Did I not equip? Oh, and the am I equipped an amulet, but the healing belt probably goes where, um, like a grenade belt and stuff would go too. Sure, oh, all right. If I don't have something already equipped, why not? More health for the warrior? Never a bad thing. His entry was just like things. Must be kind of a place like this. Listen, this is Sarah my job. Not does work. This place exists for her to make new, worse kinds of demons. Uh, but yeah, no, he knows a surprising amount. I wonder, is the demon acquisition new? Or is it, nah, Federal, there he is. Um, or is it, um, oh, I was, I was getting ready to jump over and I was like, mm, and I see this so I can get a stone for it. Uh, or is it like an older thing? Maybe he was being experimented on? That's probably what happened. Why doesn't he tell me? I feel like we should be asking these questions. You know what I'm saying? The Sarlacc pit, no. You'll never take me alive. Where's a stone? There might be a trap up here, also. Oh no, just the Venatori. Okay, cool. Venatori ahead. Mine. Uh, what? Ooh, did you see that? That was cool. I wish I could see them more because it's so it's much closer than it's usually than the game usually is. I can't see their abilities so very well. Like what they're like as they're doing it, you know. Oh hi. I will free you from your unfortunate existence. Like sinking into the sand. Is this just a prison? Ah! 
What was that? I've never heard of an abomination who wasn't a mage. I've seen demons possess corpses, ashes, and hair ones. At least this one's got good taste. Oh, Neve is like, mm, yes, I can admit it. He's an attractive one. Um, ashes is a thing. Those are the ash wraiths from Origins. Uh, hair, though, that is a unique one, but that reminds me of a Japanese yokai, like a demon that's like a hair demon. Hair. Very, very long hair. I think it's like a woman who died, you know, yada yada. Um, forlorn in love or something, you know. Listen, I saw you back there, but I'm gonna raise you this thing back here that maybe I could get back to later, but... Let me just do it now. There's a Fenharel statue in there, and I can't get the Inquisitor out of my blood, so... We be looking at all things Fenharel. Although, to be fair, if I was Rook, I would... Funny. Mm, looks like it's just a... Oh. But well, the stagger's less. Nah, we're fine. We want more stagger. Whoa, I didn't see it. It was right in front of me. I didn't see it. Um, I'm, now I'm kind of like, I think some of these are Tevinter editions. I feel like I just heard a laugh. Is that you? I was trying to actually jump, but you know, you know how it be. A trickster god laughing would be apropos, my new favorite word apparently. Ossuary records on prisoner 20, incubation 18 days, emergence rapacity, sent to Virantium. Ah. So they're trying to experiment with putting demons, like it, a demon could be forced to possess anything, or like not, not even forced, but like a dead bodies are easier to possess. Everybody except dwarves has a connection to the fig, which indicate. Oh, I need that thing actually. Um, which indicates that they, you know, everybody has some capacity to be possessed. Mages just make it easier by being in the right time at the right place for demons. I think in a lot of ways, and they do have a stronger connection to the fig. So. And then. So. The vial of blood the Venatori took from you. It's for blood magic. To control me. And the demon. Until it's gone, I cannot touch Caliban. Um, I mean, they could be controlling you right now. <laughs> How do I know that they aren't doing that? Let's ask that question. Oh, jeez. Uh, I should probably call it here before we get into anything crazy. Gosh dang it, I feel like I haven't done much, but I'm doing an hour hour long recording session, so I should be getting stuff done. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to cut away to say my Patreon thank yous. Actually, as promised before in the last video, we're going to do codex entries really quick before I say thank you to Patreon. So queue up two codex entries. Arlathan part two. You ask what happened to Arlathan. Sadly, we do not know. Even those of us who keep the ancient lore have no record of what truly happened. What we have are accounts of the days before the fall and a fable of the whims of the gods. <laughs> the human world was changing even as the elves slept. Clans and tribes gave way to a powerful empire called Tevinter, which, and for what reason we do not know, moved to conquer Eldenon. Why does anybody conquer anybody else? It's just for power, you know? Um, when they breached the great city of Arlathan, you know, and also this could be, I'm just thinking, that maybe the Dread Wolf's forces were conflated now. Like, it, like as history goes down, instead of it being like a civil war between the elves, uh, later stories chose to portray humans as the bad guys for coming in and destroying Arlathan and uh, the Elvenon Empire, right? But it was actually just the elves themselves, a civil war. That would be interesting. Um, canonically, the keepers of the Dalish clans um, 
uh, like the magic users, um, are technically descended from. Well, and I think they actually. I think they say most of the Dalish themselves are actually descended from nobility, like noble clans that escaped Ar- the fall of Arlathan. And the city elves are a lot of the like poor inhabitants that got trapped there and were then enslaved by humans. Um, but I believe the keeper lines are at least generally held to be nobility, like bloodlines, from Arlathan itself. Um, but, I mean, magic, as long as you have magic, you can become a keeper. And there's a woman we meet in Origins, actually, who is the first. You have a first and a second, generally. Um, and the first, she's the first for the keeper. And she was actually uh, a, a city elf, potentially, like a, a not Dalish elf, who was captured, her parents killed on like a trade caravan they were servants in trade caravan and they her parents were killed and the bandits took her um as a child and forced her to like you know be their servant etc um for several years and then the keeper of this dalish clan they had the bandits had killed one of their scouts and so the keeper like rolls up and like kills everybody um as payment and uh finds her and raises her essentially like further you know like as an adult gives her a home um and she earns her path to becoming his first because she does have magic um anyway side note um when they breached the great city of arlathan our people fearful of disease and loss of immortality chose to flee rather than fight with magic demons and even dragons at their behest the Taventer imperium marched easily through arlathan destroying homes and galleries and amphitheaters that had stood for ages our people were corralled as slaves and human contact quickened their veins until every captured elf turned mortal the elves called to their ancient gods but there was no answer as to why the gods didn't answer mm, I remember. Uh, our people left only a legend they say that fen Harel, the dread wolf and lord of tricksters approached the ancient gods of good and evil and proposed a truce the gods of good removed themselves to heaven and the lords of evil would exile themselves to the abyss neither group ever to enter the other's lands but the gods did not know that fen had planned to betray them and by the time they realized the dreadful treachery they were sealed in their respective realms never again to interact with the mortal world it is a fable to be sure but those elves who traveled the beyond which is what actually traditionally the elves have called the fade the dalish elves have called the fade they call it the beyond uh, claim that Fenharel still roams the world of dreams, keeping watch over the gods lest they escape from their prisons. There's a different one, I think, that talks about Fenharel that says, like, he's, like, laughing, uh, for eternity or something, and to me, it, it kind of hurt my heart, where it's like he, what it probably is, is that it, it was his sorrow, like, echoing through the fade, you know what I mean? Like, for, for everything that's happened, you know, like, laughing in, like, despair, all, if anything, you know? Whatever the case, Arlathan had fallen to the very humans our people had once considered mere pests. It is said that Deventer magisters used their great destructive powers to force the very ground to swallow Arlathan whole, destroying eons of cult- collected knowledge, culture, and art. The whole of elven lore left only to memory. See, that's the thing. I think from the fall of Arlathan told by Gishrael, um, but like I thought we weren't 100% sure where the city of Arlathan was. Beyond the veil, spirits and demons, it is challenging enough for the casual observer to tell the difference between the fade and the creatures that live within it, let alone between one type of spirit and another. In truth, there is little distinct that distinguishes them, uh, even for the most astute mages. Since spirits are not physical entities and are therefore not restricted to recognizable forms, or even having a form at all, one can never tell for certain what is alive and what is merely part of the scenery. It is therefore advisable for the inexperienced researcher to greet all objects he encounters. I think this is a, a mage. Yeah. An enchanter. Um, typically, we misuse the, the term spirit to refer only to the benign, or at least the less malevolent, creatures of the Fade. But in truth, all the denizens of the realm beyond the veil are spirits. As the Chant of Light notes, everything within the Fade is a mimicry of our world, a poor imitation, for the spirits do not remotely understand what they are copying. It is no surprise that much of the Fade appears like a manuscript translated from Tevinter into Orlesian and back again by drunken initiates. In general, spirits are not complex, or rather, they are not complex as we understand such things. Each one sees us upon a single facet of human experience, rage, hunger, compassion, hope, etc. This one idea becomes their identity. We classify as demons those spirits who identify themselves with darker human emotions and ideas. The most common and weakest form of demon one encounters in the Fade is, la- is the rage demon. They are much like perpetually boiling, boiling kettles, for they exist only to vent hatred, but rarely have an object to hate. Somewhat above these are the hunger demons, who do little but eat or, or attempt to eat everything they encounter, including other demons. This is rarely successful. 
Then there are the sloth demons. These are the first intelligent creatures one typically finds in the Fade. They are dangerous only on those rare occasions that they can be induced to get up and do harm. Desire demons are more clever and far more powerful, using all forms of bribery to induce mortals into their realms. Wealth, love, vengeance. Whatever lies closest to your heart, the most powerful demons yet encountered are the pride demons, perhaps because they, among all their kind, most resemble men. From Beyond the Veil, Spirits and Demons by Enchanter Midromel. All right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest Tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.